Fanatic here. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome. And I hope you decide to stick around and subscribe to my channel. Well, we're standing here in my dining room. And if you've seen some of my previous videos, you know that I did a total makeover in the dining room to farmhouse. And I recently just painted my dining room table and my chairs and added some new fabric. So guess what? The only thing left to do is this hutch back here. So I'm gonna share with you guys how I'm gonna paint the hutch. I'm gonna paint it in ivory color to match my dining room table and chairs. But first, I'm gonna change into some paint clothes and then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna give you a tour of my dining room and share with you guys what it looks like. So, so let me go change into my paint clothes. Now that I have my paint clothes on, I'm ready to get started painting. I want to share with you guys what paint I'm using. This is by Sherwin Williams, and this is their HD TV home collection, and this is in canvas tan, and it's a satin finish. Now, I did recently paint the bottom of my wall here, just under the chair rail. This was a burgundy color. So on the wall, to me, it looks more, it looks tan, but when I painted the legs on the table, it definitely looks off-white to me, but this is the color that I'm gonna use for the hutch. And to paint, since there's not a large, um, area to paint. I am going to use my one and a half inch brush, which I love a one and a half inch brush. This is perfect even for cutting in. So this is my to go brush always. And then I can't find my painter's tape. I was going to uh, put the tape around here around the glass and I can't find anything. So what I'm going to do, if I get any paint on the glass, it's so easy. You can just take a razor blade and a little trick is to dip it in water, get it wet, so it slides on the glass real easy. And then you can just take it, and if you get any paint on there, it'll come right off. But I think what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna remove all my greenery, move my little rooster, and then I'm gonna start painting the top and the bottom, and then we'll see. I might go back out in the garage and see if I can find some tape. First, I wanna give you guys a tour of what my dining room looks like.
But here's a look at the cabinet with one coat of paint on there and I was able to find some painter's tape so I was real happy about that. So I taped up the glass here on this door and then I already put some painter's tape down here below. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work on this side and then do the other side. And I'm gonna let this paint dry before I give it a second coat. And then also I think I'm gonna be taking the door off the hinges. Uh, that way I don't get any paint on the hinges and give it a nice professional look. So anyways, I'm gonna do some more taping and then I will come back and share with you guys how it looks with the second coat. Watch me break in your sweat. You're falling into me, touch me. I swear, you would do anything that I want. So keep us awake till the dawn. Ooh, baby, real free. I wanna make you sweat on me. I wanna make you sweat on me. Watch me break in your sweat. You're falling into me, touch me. I swear, you would do anything that I want. So keep us awake till the dawn. Ooh, baby, feel free. I wanna make you sweat on me. give you guys a little recap on my hutch that I painted here. Now I used a Sherwin Williams. It's the canvas tan. It's in a satin finish and I gave it about two coats of paint but before I painted it um, you want to use 220 grit sandpaper. You want to sand it down just slightly sand it that way the paint will stick and I gave it two coats of paint and then I came back with my 220 grit sandpaper and distressed it on the edges which I really liked the way that turned out and then I went ahead and took the hardware and I used oil rub bronze spray paint and spray painted the hardware on here so I'm happy the way this turned out so I hope you guys this gave you some ideas for your next project I mean painting furniture it's super easy and fun to do and it's amazing the transformation that you can do on a budget using a little bit of paint so until next time Happy decorating.